Hi everyone, Doug Jury here from Zadara Storage. I wanted to show you how to set up one of our latest exciting additions to enterprise class features of our virtual private storage array, or VPSA. For those of you who are not familiar with our technology, a VPSA is a software-defined SAN and NAS array created on demand with zero upfront costs. We provide all the enterprise class features and control of your on-premise storage. Such features include your choice of dedicated hardware, HA, and quality of service, while maintaining VPSA benefits like flexibility, agility, and economics of the cloud. Our latest feature is asynchronous remote replication between storage volumes in the AWS US East region and AWS US West region. It is one of many great new features, including metering and tuning options that will be available in our upcoming V2 release. Asynchronous remote replication capabilities make it possible for VPSA customers to perform failover of applications between the AWS regions. That means you can failover applications between regions with minimal downtime. One great example for this is in preparation of a storm or natural disaster on one of the two coasts. However, in many cases, there's no warning. With VPSA already replicating your data, your business is protected. This capability is also useful in response to shifts in regional demand, planned downtime, and network outages or slowdowns. We're very excited here at Zadar about this new feature for all new and existing customers. Now I'd like to introduce Yair, our VP of Engineering. He will take us step-by-step -step through this new solution from Zadara Storage. Hi, in this video, I will walk you through the process of establishing a remote mirroring job between Amazon US West and Amazon US East. I've created my production VPSA in Amazon West, and I've assigned it a public IP. Public IPs are mandatory for creating the remote connection between the VPSAs. And then I've a, um, created a second VPSA, which is my disaster recovery VPSA, located in Amazon East, and I've assigned it a public IP as well. Once those two VPSAs are created, I go to my production VPSA, and the first step is to establish the connection to the remote VPSA. I go to remote VPSA and I press discover. I need to enter here the IP address, the public IP address of the remote VPSA. I can find it in the other um, VPSA. I can go to the public IP, select it. This is the public IP of my DR VPSA. Now, I select the Discover Remote VPSA through public IP, submit the request, and I see my connection has been successfully established. I see the remote VPSA and the DR VPSA in my local production VPSA. To establish a mirroring, all I need to go is go to the volume page, select the volume which I want to mirror, protect, and mirror. I will select the name of the mirror job. Let's call it um, mirror one. I select the remote volume name. I would call it DB data DR. Then I can select the remote VPSA and obviously this VPSA can mirror different volumes to different remote VPSAs depending on your DR needs. The next step is to select a snapshot policy. The remote mirroring, the Zadar remote mirroring is a snapshot based mirroring meaning that a snapshot is created as often as you decide and then the, only the, the data that is actually changed between snapshots is being mirrored to the DR side. I have pre-created a snapshot policy that creates a snapshot every minute and keeps those snapshots for an hour. I will select that snapshot policy. Then I get a list of available pools in the DR VPSA. 
I will select the DR pool, which I've created especially for that purpose, and confirm the operation. If I go to the mirror jobs, I will see a new mirror job that I've just created. It is still in idle state, but in a few seconds it will start resyncing the data. Um, and I can see here the, the all the information about this snapshot-based remote mirroring job. Um, you can see the snapshot policies. As you recall, I have selected a snapshot policy that is every minute, right? The every hour snapshot policy, the volume had previously. And I can see a list of snapshots. One mirroring will start, I will see a snapshot every minute. Here you go, you see a snapshot. Um, and it was created just now. This is the current snapshot. If I go, if I refresh my data, I will see that it's now moved to syncing. And if I look at the mirror metering information, I will see that it has started mirroring data to the remote VPSA. Next, I can go to the remote VPSA and see what's the picture that I can see from that place. So I'm in the DR VPSA. I select my mirror jobs. And here's my mirror job that I've just created. On the metering, I will see the incoming data traffic. And with the snapshot, I will see a list of snapshots that has been copied. And since we are currently copying the base volume, the first snapshot has not been copied yet. This is the new remote mirroring feature of Zadara VPSA. Thank you.